Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of volume, specifically how we can calculate problems with the volume of rectangular prisms in mind, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have been dealing with volume of rectangular prisms since the 5th grade. So nothing has really changed. It's a basic formula. Volume equals the base times the height. So we kind of calculate uh, one of the bases here, and then we multiply it by our height. Or if we need to, we can also just look at it as length times width times height, because the base is, base is simply the length times the width. Now, the only trick we're going to get in seventh grade with this is sometimes they will give you, instead of the length and width times height, or instead of giving you the base and the height, what they're going to do is they are going to give you uh, probably something like they might give you the volume. So the, they might say that this particular rectangular prism has a volume of 900. So let's give you that 900 cubic inches. And it has a base of 75 square inches. So when we're dealing with volume, volume is multiplying all three measurements. So that's why we have a cubed right there. When we're getting the base, we're just multiplying two of these measurements. That's why we get the squared or the little two right there. So then we need to find the height. And so they'll make you kind of work backwards a little bit. And so let's just plug these numbers into our uh, formula here. So volume equals base times height. Let's use that one because they gave me a base and a volume. So I'm just going to substitute. My volume is 900. My base is 75. And then I'm looking for my height. So once we get it to look like that, should be fairly straightforward. We know that we need to isolate the variable. So this H is being connected to the 75 with a multiplication. So the inverse operation is 75. Divide by 75. Let's just divide both sides by 75. And let's just do a little long division. Let's hope we don't have to get into decimals too much. 75 goes into 90 one time. And we're going to do a little regrouping here. That's 5, 15. Oh, that's going to go in nice and evenly because 75 goes into 150 twice. And so that's an example of something that we might see in a seventh grade problem of calculating to find that our height equals 12 inches. So we have a cube here and it's still a rectangular prism. It is a special rectangular prism. So we're still going to use this volume equals base times height. We just know that uh, the one special thing about a cube is that each side length is the exact same measurement. Um, and so all six faces are identical squares. And so really our volume could be base times height. Or since it's a cube, we could call it S cubed. And that's really kind of why we call it cubed. Because we've got that little three right there. That means we've got three sides. And we're just going to multiply all of them. So S cubed or S to the third literally means side times side times side. That's length times width times height. They just all happen to be the same. So if we're looking at a problem, how we might calculate this for a seventh grade problem, what they might do is they might give you the volume. They might say that the volume is 125 meters cubed. So we might say that's going to be our volume. What is our side length? So we need to know what number times itself. So I'm going to call uh, this x, since we've already got that s using there. So what number times itself is going to 3 times is going to make 125. So let's say 125 equals our mystery number here. And this is going to involve a little bit of guess and check unless we really know about cube roots here. So let's just try 3. All right, so 3 times 3 times 3. That's going to be 9 times 3. That's 27. Way too small. Let's try 5 because it does end with 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Multiply that by 5, and there you go. You get your answer of 125, so S equals 5.